So I've been rewatching Grey's Anatomy because I'm insane and I like inflicting pain on myself because literally every episode again all over again is always some shit okay and I don't even know like why I felt like I needed to rewatch it because I'm not even watching it from the beginning I'm watching it from like I don't even know what season I'm on I think I'm on season 9 season 10 but I'm literally just uh, I'm so cringy so I'm gonna use this what is this Saturday skin waterfall glacier water cream that I got in my boxy charm a couple months ago for moisturizer today this is too much I already have too much um, I've been rewatching it and I'm just like why are you doing this to yourself like you know exactly what's gonna happen you know you're gonna cry like why why do that to yourself it's so dumb but like, I can't help it so I'm doing it oh and we restarted how to get away with murder because we both missed so much of that we figured we might as well restart because we don't know what the hell is going on now on the final season or the season before that or the season before that so we restarted that too okay so i don't even probably need any primer because i just put all that goddamn moisturizer on but i'm gonna put some on anyway so i'm gonna use the elf poreless putty primer this is the original i think they have a hyd a hydrated one or something like that i don't know really. but i'm gonna go ahead and use this i'm really trying to get my hands on the port not the ports probably ports the hot the hydrogen the hydrogel hydrogen the, the watermelon joint the little red the one like the little red bottle too thing i want to try that one so for my foundation to hold on psych i want to use so i'm going to highlight under my foundation today and i'm going to use the fancy beauty matchstick and cinnamon and yeah you know like am i the only person that when you don't do your makeup for a while you come back to doing your makeup and you don't know what the hell you're doing like is it just me like it, it cannot be just me that feels that way because I that's exactly how I feel when I go too long when I do my makeup which is basically what I've been doing these last couple of weeks like I did it last week but like even then it was kind of touch and go and I've been doing like makeup classes but even then it's like I know what to do to teach somebody to do it but then when I feel like I'm doing it on myself now I just I don't know what be going on I just be all over the place Can we get into this highlight though? Thank you. She know how to do that. She know how to do that. Period. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay. Oh. Wow. That's happening. Okay. I'm almost, almost going blind. Um, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation in, I about to say 370, what? 70 Warm Yellow. I'm going to use two pumps. I don't need two pumps, I'm pretty sure, but I haven't used this in a while, and I don't really know what I need in my life. So I'm going to go ahead and use two pumps, and I'm going to use a brush, I think, if I can get a good one. Yeah, I'll take this one. This is my NYX foundation brush. Okay, I'm gonna go over this with my sponge because I know I don't mind a brush and I used to stay with a brush doing my foundation, but I feel like going over it with a sponge just gives it the extra, you know? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight. I'm going to take my, what is this called? Born This Way Concealer in Butterscotch. And just go ahead and plop this on. I am going to let it sit for a little while before I blend it out. Okay, and then while this is sitting, I'm going to go ahead and contour. So I'm going to take my Black Opal Foundation Stick in Black Walnut. Do I want to do my forehead? No. No, I don't want to do my forehead. Every time I do my forehead, shit gets crazy. And it just doesn't work out for me. So I'm not going to do my forehead. But I'm going to blend out my contour with my foundation brush. 
We want everything to be blended, honey. Okay. Oh my gosh, let me tell y'all why the other day I got DoorDash and I got Moe's, right? That's not important to the story that I got Moe's, but I was telling y'all I got DoorDash, so I figured I would let you guys know what I got from DoorDash. So I got Moe's and the food gets here, right? It says old girl is approaching with my food. So the food gets here and I'm, I see her pull up, right? Cause I see her like with the bag and stuff in the car cause I'm nosy and my windows are always open. So I see her pull up and she calls me and she says, then she texts me cause I didn't see the call. She texts me and it's like, this is DoorDash, I'm outside. And so I'm thinking, when, sis, when did y'all start, when did I have to come, start coming to the car to pick up? I ordered from DoorDash a lot. When did I have to start coming to the car to get my food like that was never a thing okay so but i'm like you know whatever i'm not even trying this is the battle i'm not trying to pick right now i'm just trying to get my mold so i can eat my tacos and i can continue on about my life but like dead ass she did not like she didn't even get out the car like she just opened the door and like stuck the food out like i thought door dash was door dash they bring this shit to your door like when did that become not a thing in my tripping, like, if y'all DoorDash people don't bring the stuff to your house no more, please let me know so I won't feel like, like, so I'll, because if, if they don't, I'll be feeling like a bitch, but I'm pretty sure they don't not bring the stuff to your door, so I don't feel like I'm being a bitch, but if that's the case, please let me know down in the comments, because I was so taken aback by the fact that she didn't bring my food upstairs, like, seriously. I don't have any brows on, so like, but, ooh, but look at her. Mm. Okay, so I guess since this is the only powder that I have like right in front of me on my table, I'm gonna use this Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Medium Deep. Yeah, I know I don't hate this powder, but I also don't love this powder, but it's the powder that I have right now, so I'm not good enough to get another one. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera real quick and do my brows. I'm gonna use probably my Benefit um, Cabral and Goof Proof Brow. So I'm gonna go do that and then we'll come back and we'll regroup. Okay, so I get, what? Okay, so I went ahead off camera and did my brows. It's a bomb brow day. I only used the Cabral. This is a fantastic, phenomenal, breathtaking, outstanding brow day okay so i put a little bit more powder i didn't press it enough and i just like put it on there and i'm going to take this p louise rumor 3 base to prime my eyes since i'm doing red i want to make sure it like stands out Okay, so now that that's all blended out, I'm going to be taking the Morphe and James Charles palette. I should know, I think this is literally the only palette I have that has like red in it. So I'm going to be taking the red shade, and what is that called? You're kidding, that's what it's called. Okay, I'm going to be taking that, and if I can find a good brush, I'm going to be packing it on my eye. I'm going to take this brush, this might be a little too soft, um, I don't really know what this brush is from. I got it in my boxy charm, but I'm not really sure. Um, what brand is from because it doesn't say but I'm going to be taking this brush okay so I'm trying to debate if I should buff this out with brown or just buff it out with like a pink I think I'll mix it with this super light pink to kind of blow it out a little bit just to keep the color consistent because this pink really doesn't show up at all. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, 
Oh, honey. Bless you. This is a mother freaking blend, okay? pretty highlighted i really am not a big fan of this powder and it's for this reason i didn't even press into my face i literally just set it on my face just so i wouldn't get no eyeshadow on it and i look bright as hell but whatever we're gonna work through we're gonna bronze and zhuzh me up and all that so i'm good so today the main reason why i wanted to do this video was because i got a package from a new cosmetics line well they don't have cosmetics i don't think but from a new beauty line it's called wispy lane beauty so i got some eyelashes i got some eyelashes this um new little headband because i needed a new one i got this from them they sent it in the package and i'm super excited so thank you guys for sending this to me if you guys are watching this i don't know i'm not sure but thank you guys so i got a couple of hair they're pretty intense lashes and i'm all here for it I think I'm going to use this pair if it will focus. Whatever, I think I'm going to use this pair. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to use this pair. This pair, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I put the lashes on. They are so freaking good. You I will leave the link to their um, Instagram page, Wispy Lane Beauty, down in the description box because these lashes are it, okay? I am obsessed. I know I don't have big eyes. I didn't have to trim the lashes. I just plopped them on and they look so freaking good. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and contour, well, bronze contour. I'm going to use my Morphe Bronzer and Showman's and I'm going to use my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill um a little bronzer brush yes mm -hmm. oh. <gasps> i'm obsessed i love a good bronze day Look at the difference between this side and this side. What? She's looking good. Look how big this closure is. Oh, excuse me. I don't have a big face though. I mean, a big head. Well, I have a round face. So my face is kind of big. My head isn't that big though. But this 5 by 5 closure is it. Y'all know I don't really like frontals. So I mainly make closure wigs. I can make frontal wigs. But for the most part, unless requested, I make the closure wigs. You just, it is nothing like a good bronze. This is just, this is just a freaking mood, okay? If y'all hear the kids talking, Oh, she got a nose contour today. What? I'm gonna blend this out. Wow, I 
said this is a lot so if you guys hear anything like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse or something the kids are literally right next door okay like across the hall like their room is like right across the hall right there so if you guys hear anything it's Aiden he is watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse that is one of his favorite shows so he talks to the TV when it's on This is a nose contour, if ever. I have never contoured my nose. Okay, so now that's done. I did spray my face already um, before I came back on camera. So I'm going to take this black. This is old as hell. This black radiance blush in raspberry. I know I have on red eyeshadow. But like, I still think that this color blush is hot pink. Could be a vibe. Like, I feel like it could work. So I'm going to try it. I was right. I was right. <gasps> I was freaking right, guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh. I know I love blush. Oh, oh this is so good. Shadow of Ray Lip. That's doing too much. I'm not gonna do that. That is doing way too much. I'm going to do a nude. <laughs> I'm gonna do a nude. What color nude though? Should I do a gloss or should I do a matte lip? Okay, man. Daddy not here. He at work. This lip is about to kill it, period. Okay, so I'm gonna use my chestnut from MAC. Look how small it is. Okay, and then I'm going to use my MAC and So Me. This is a matte lipstick. I could leave this matte. I really could, but like... Should I? Should I leave everything matte? Like, because my face is matte right now. I don't have any highlighter. Like, face is a go. Eyes matte. Lips matte. Is that a vibe? The baby's crying. He's, like, trying to sabotage me. Mm. I'm going to leave it matte. Okay. So, this is the finished look since I'm leaving my face matte. I'm going to zoom out. Go check with the kids. And then I will be right back and then we can reconvene. Okay, so this is the finished look and honestly I'm so glad I kept it matte. This shit looks fire. Like <laughs> this looks so freaking good. And first of all, I haven't had dark hair in so long. My hair is blue right now. It was pink before that. Um but I'm glad I went with this dark wig today along with the shoulders out. It's hot as hell here in North Carolina. But I felt like I wanted to put on a sweater for all the shoulders and be 
happen okay so if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you have not already if you made it to the end leave me a fire emoji down in the comments because i would like to know who's loyal who made this at the end of the video i don't know how long this one going to be so if you made it regardless how long it is you the bomb but that's all i have to say for this video i cannot stop looking at myself so like i always tell you guys i'm your girl tiffany thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video